This farm right here is river bottom land and there's, I can't remember exactly, there's about eight or 10 different types of dirt here and they're, they're, they're from one extreme to the other. And so what we were running into irrigating here was we'd have a row that was, you couldn't even walk across, it was so wet. And then right next to it would be wilting from uh, needing water. So the first thing I did once we got everything installed was I knew what crop was going on in the pivot. I called Zomatic up and I said, okay, we've got this crop going in. I said, what's my prescription need to be? And they laughed at me and they said, we don't do that, you do that. And so what I did was I read the description and the water capacity of these different types of dirt and I basically formed it into, into I think I've got three or four different zones, maybe five. So I had my base prescription and I, the more sandier dirt got a little bit more and the more wet nature dirt got a lot less. When we discuss about the project that we conducted this year, we discuss the use of soil sensor technology to support irrigation scheduling, meaning to support decisions of when to irrigate and how much to irrigate. So the first thing that we did this year was we um, collected soil samples to really ground truth to determine whether or not, you know, uh, the soil type and soil texture of this map was correct. And also the extent of the soil units. We also brought a sensor that collects soil electrical conductivity data. So with the soil electrical conductivity data, we also brought a high accuracy GPS because we know um, that there are differences in topography. And then we, we combine soil electrical conductivity data, soil texture data, and the uh, topography or elevation map into a new map. When you started looking at the soil sensor data, you saw that maybe, you know, your baseline zone got probably much smaller and probably was split into two, that maybe this field that, uh, you know, you have two different soil types, maybe there was only one soil type, right. and then this area that you found as sandy, you know, it was much larger. Yeah, and, it was, and it's not so much on top, it is, it is, come to find out that dirt, after I researched a little bit more about that little field right there, it's got a really uh, shallow or high groundwater table right there. And it, by looking at it and by the soil maps, that's, you don't realize that. But it's actually there and the soil sensors picked it up. Between the variable rate irrigation and the soil sensors, I mean, this technology is very, very important. Well, we used to just irrigate a straight rate, and since we've gone to variable rate, I would, I would feel safe in guessing we're probably saving at least 60% water usage on that pivot. And on top of that, with the sensors, you could possibly even save more, or maybe use a little more to get the crop, you know, to achieve your goals on your crop.